everyone and welcome to today's declutter video. Today I'm going to be decluttering my wardrobe which is here behind me. I haven't done a declutter video in quite a long time so I'm pretty excited. I love the feeling that you get when you finish decluttering. You just feel so light and like you accomplished something so I'm really looking forward to that. And I hope that this video inspires you to do some decluttering of your own. So this is my closet. I have a pretty large closet over here. I have all of my bags, some extra hangers, and then these are all of the clothes that are hung up, kind of like nicer, mostly tops. And then I have my coats. There are two of them, one for the fall weather and one for winter weather, because where I live, we definitely have all four seasons. Winter time is really, really cold and summer time is really, really hot. So I need a variety of outerwear for those different seasons. And then over here, I have more of my workout wear and most of my pants and then there's a little hat and one more jacket for the rainy weather. And then what you can't see is that on the floor, I've got a pile of clothes that I just washed. So I have washed all of my clothes. Every single clothing item that I own is in this room right now. So what I'm gonna do first is just take everything out of my closet throw it all on the floor, and then start putting things into piles. First things first, I have two little space down here. So I'm going to declutter my big like coats first because they take up the most amount of space. And really, I'm not gonna declutter them at all because I have exactly what I need. However, I did realize that on each of these hangers, I have scarves and I'm not gonna keep all of them. I was pretty sure I was gonna declutter this one and now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, uh, should I though? Because it does sort of break up my wardrobe. I wear a lot of black and this kind of makes me seem less like a goth. No, I think I don't wear this one as much because it's not an infinity scarf and I prefer that style. Okay, I'm gonna leave these out and think about these later. And then this guy, basically this is the worst scarf ever. <laughs> I want to replace this one, but I kind of don't want to get rid of it until I have a replacement because it's better than nothing on really cold days and we've been having really, really cold days lately. I guess I will get rid of it and that will convince me to, uh, to look for a new one. Okay, so piles have officially been established. Things I'm keeping are going in the closet. Things that I'm thinking about are going over there and things that I'm getting rid of are going over there. So, let's get into this. Okay, so this is a romper. I really like rompers. I actually really like this romper. I think it's super comfortable, but it's just not really my style because I don't super enjoy this color. So I've been in the market for a new one, but I haven't replaced it yet because in the summertime, this is like my staple and I just haven't been able to find a romper that I love. So I'm gonna keep this knowing that I want to replace it with something more my style in the future. Then we got these pink shorts. I've had these for a really long time. That's sort of two pinkishy color things, and I really don't like the color pink, but I don't know. They, they're another thing that sort of breaks up my wardrobe, and in the summertime, I do like to wear colors other than black. <laughs> so these are good because in the summer, it gets really hot here, and I don't like to wear leggings, so shorts are a must-have. And then in addition to those shorts, I have just a pair of jean shorts. So for the summertime, that would be two bottoms and a romper, and then I also have a couple of dresses as well. This top I really, really like. It's like a, oh boy, <laughs> it's a cowl neck or a turtleneck of some sort. And I got it for Christmas, but uh, I'm going to give it back to my mom because apparently it was very expensive and it's already pilling, which is amazing since I wash it on, wash it on Delicate. And also everything sticks to it, so that's annoying. It just goes to show you that things that are super expensive are not always good quality. These sweatpants. These are pants that I wear mostly as pajamas, but I also wear them as sort of like lounge wear or sometimes I go out in them. I know some people like when they leave the house, they always have to look nice and like wear makeup or whatever. I am not one of those people. So right now I have two pairs of jeans. One has holes in it and one has no holes in it. So it's like more of a good quality darker denim. And this is just like more of a casual pair. Um, but two pairs of jeans has been doing me really well, except that the button on this pair of jeans came off the other day. So I need to replace that. Ooh, okay. This sweater, 
I like, but it's made from rabbit fur and um, I'm not super into that. I didn't realize that when I bought it from the thrift store. And I found another gray sweater uh, from the thrift store that I like equally well, which is somewhere in this pile. So I'm just going to replace this one with that. So I, I would say more or less like to exercise, especially when I'm in the mood and especially once I finish exercising, I feel really, really good. Sometimes it's a struggle to actually get me outside and going, but when I do exercise, I really like to run and I also like to do yoga and things like that. So having sort of comfortable clothes when you're exercising is always important, but also having clothes that are warm and that you can layer with is really important because I like to run outside. So that's why I have all of these t-shirts. So these two are short sleeve and you can wear them in the fall or the spring, or you can wear them with one of these two underneath for an extra layer. These two are good for the summertime when it gets hot or hot days in the spring because they're tanks and you can just wear them by themselves. But I pretty much only wear these t-shirts when I'm working out. So this is just all workout attire. Two t-shirts, two tanks, three long sleeve undershirts and then this shirt I also used to work out but it's like more loose fitted so it's also nice to wear just lounging around the house and then I would pair those t-shirts with leggings or these shorts so these shorts are good for the summertime I have two long sort of like fancier leggings that I can wear with everyday clothes and then I have two capri style that work in the same way. Then I have one pair that's mainly only worn for working out and this Capri pair that I only wear when I'm working out. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of leggings. I have no idea how I'm gonna edit this because this is me, like a lot of me thinking and not a lot of me doing, sorry. <laughs> That's how decluttering goes though. You really have to think about everything that you're going to keep and everything that you're going to give away. And snack. Snacking is important. <clears throat> okay. Let me just keep going and we'll see where we're getting here. So, I have this hoodie, which I was thinking about. Whoops. There's a dryer ball in here. My bad. Hmm. I was thinking about getting rid of this hoodie and getting a hoodie from my college because I like to have a little bit of like college swag from every school that I go to. But this hoodie is just so perfect. It fits me really well and I love it. So I don't really want to get rid of it, I don't think. So yeah, oh well. Such sucky parts of minimalism, I guess. You can't have two hoodies. I mean, honestly, I really could have two hoodies if I wanted to because you could. But what's really pushing me back from, or what's really holding me back from buying a hoodie from my school is that they cost a million dollars and I really don't want to spend money on it. And I have one that I already really, really like. So when I graduate, maybe someone will buy me a hoodie. I would love that. Thank you. Okay, this sweater I'm going to get rid of because I don't wear it that often. I do like the way that it fits on my body, but I'm not super into this color. So if it was black, I would keep it sad but true this guy is i only wear it like for professional type activities so i will put it in with these professional clothes over here this is a nice black tee i want i've i wanted like a vegan t-shirt for a really long time but i don't want to spend money on it so i think i'm going to try to diy vegan across the chest of this just plain black tee and then wear this shirt more often this is uh, one of the black dresses that I got. I got two from the thrift store. Um, I think this is the just casual one that I got for the summer because I need just a casual summer dress. So I will put that here with the summery things. And then this is the black blazer that I got to replace that gray blazer. But you know, now I'm thinking, well, should I keep both? It's hard knock life put that with the professional stuff. Here is my ugly Christmas sweater, which is beautiful, but they don't wear that often. So maybe I'll put that over here. This can be like seasonal stuff, not just summery stuff. Oh, oh, okay, I see. 
this is the professional dress that I got because it covers a little bit more in the armpit area, which sometimes you need. And this guy is the more casual version, so I'll put that here in the professional pile. And then there's this black cardigan. Ooh, there's a hair on that. That, hmm. This is not my favorite black cardigan. I'm not gonna lie. I've been looking for one. This one is just a little bit too short. I need it to be like two inches longer. So maybe I will just donate it and be on the hunt for another one, which is my life eternally. Always looking for the perfect black cardigan. So hard. This is another piece that I wear very often. And then this jacket I wear all the time. Oops. Especially when I'm working out, like this is a, a, the jacket that I wear on top of my workout clothes because it's pretty thin, but it's also super warm. This is the gray sweater I got to replace that other gray sweater. So that really it's good for the professional atmosphere, but also it's nice and casual, so it can go both ways. And this shirt, I like quite a lot, but I think I lost some weight and so it's a little bit big on me now. And also the white color is... I'm just too much of a mess to wear white, so I can't keep this anymore. It's a nice top to wear like with professional stuff, but I just destroy things. Like I'm the most disgusting eater you have ever seen. I just throw food all over me. And so having tops like this, never a good idea. And then the last piece I have is this rain jacket, which is a casual rain jacket. So when I don't wear this big guy, I wear this one and it's also really good for working out or like hiking or something because you don't want to wear that big thing if you're going to an informal event like that's a little bit too much all right so we've gotten rid of quite a few things and now I'm left with sort of my capsules the way that they are oh let's revisit this pile over here good stuff good stuff all right this dress so cute every time I look at it I just think it's the perfect dress Except that normally I go for these sorts of, sorts of shape shapes and this dress kind of hugs her figure a little bit more um, But you know if you haven't seen my fantasy self video, I'm not against the fantasy self So I will keep it somewhere in my closet until summertime if I don't fit in to in, in summertime then it's not worth it And then this guy Hmm I'm like really hard to fit in a blazer because I'm a petite person, but I also have a large chest. So blazers always end up being like the perfect length, but then too small across this area, like especially in the armpit area because it's just pulling really tight over my chest. And that's how this blazer fits me, which is annoying, but it looks good. I can't button it, but it still looks good. And I always get compliments on it. This blazer fits perfectly except that if I wear a shirt underneath of it, like a long sleeve shirt, it's gonna be tight. It's gonna be quite tight. Let's see, what would this blazer look like with this dress? I think that would look fine. A lot of black, but that's okay. It would look fine with this top. It would look fine with this top. If I wore black pants, a black shirt, and a black blazer, is that too much black? Probably. It would look fine with this skirt. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps, see, mm, so hard. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I feel like if I'm doubtful about it, then it's time for it to go. And then all that's left are these two scarves, which I think I'm just gonna get rid of both of them and look for a new scarf. Or not get a scarf at all. Just keep my wintry scarf or find a wintry scarf. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? How are we going to organize this? Okay, let's uh, get started. Let me just figure out if this is gonna be enough because sometimes I over declutter and then I'm screwed and I don't have enough clothes to wear, so. Let's see, this could be one day, a second day, probably with a hoodie, third day on its own, fourth day, probably with a hoodie, fifth day on its own, maybe with a hoodie, 
six day with a tank or something underneath of it. Yeah, will you? I think I am gonna grab this tank top here. I haven't been wearing it, but I could start wearing it because once you layer up enough, it doesn't really matter if you don't have a lot of layers on at your core. So I'll put that back in there. <clears throat> All right, that looks, that's enough stuff, especially considering that I wear pajamas for the entire day at least twice a week, if not more often. <clears throat> and now for the other stuff. Huh. that I wear pretty often right here except for these two dresses this one because it's new and it's short sleeved so I haven't really worn it because it's so cold outside and this one because it's my fantasy dress and we'll see if I can fit into it by the summer then I've got this tank top which I can layer with things this dress which I wear pretty often a t-shirt also wear pretty often a nice thick sweater a regular sweater flannel cardigan and then some outerwear because I am a layerer that's what I do then over here which you probably can't see but we'll try here I've got seasonal clothes so this is my Christmas sweater and I will leave it in there until it starts getting warm and then switch it out for my seasonal summer items so the two pairs of shorts that I own and the one romper and then I've got long sleeve workout tees short sleeve workout tees, jeans, long leggings, short leggings, and pajamas. And then everything else is all of this professional wear here, which I am going to roll up and store, probably in my suitcase. So I'll put all the professional wear in that suitcase with the summer clothes and then switch them out whenever I happen to need them. Okay guys, so here's everything that I'm giving away. I'm giving away a black cardigan, a gray cardigan, uh, an infinity scarf, a big black scarf, and I just dropped everything, and oh my gosh. A gray blazer, a white blouse, a red sweater, a black turtleneck, a black scarf, and these pants I'm just going to throw away because they're not usable anymore. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want to see other videos, maybe a wardrobe tour or something like that, let me know in the comments below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I haven't done a wardrobe declutter ever before. So I know those are the most popular things online and I also know that it's what gets a lot of people into minimalism. So hopefully this has inspired you and hopefully you do some decluttering on your own after it. That is all for now. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos about being a minimalist in a materialist world, and I will see you in the next one.